Hey y'all, I'm Dr. Bibliophile, and I have some great news for you guys. I have found a really good and very original young adult book. It's called The Rhythmatist by Brandon Sanderson. If you watch my recent book haul video, you'll know this was a library find, and so I just came across this, seeing it once again, and remember seeing it in a, another YouTuber's, um, what was it? A birthday book haul. I really enjoy steampunk and gearpunk books, which I don't really know what the difference is between steampunk and gearpunk. If any of you guys know, comment below and set me straight. So when I first saw this, by the cover, that's all it would appear to be, is another typical steampunk or gearpunk novel. I mean, I would have read it even if it was just another cookie cutter style book, because the genre just appeals to me, but I was very, very pleasantly surprised. It's actually a very unique and original book. What made this book even better was that the author, Brandon Sanderson, was able to take two of my least favorite and least developed skills, math and drawing, and put them together into a story that I just couldn't put down. The story takes place in the fictional alternate history world of the United Isles. Let me see if I can show you a picture of what it is. There you go. I don't know how well that's coming through. Once again, like I said, this is a library book, so it has this cursed Mylar covering taped to the front, so I can't show you all of it. But here's this part, and on the back cover, it shows the other half of the United Isles. It's a really cool idea. Anyway, our story takes place in Armedius Academy, right here in New Britannia. Kind of the fictional New England. Armedius Academy that I just showed you is a very prestigious school where rich young rhythmatists go to receive their training. Now, rhythmatists are the people who have the ability to bring two-dimensional chalk drawings to life. And they use these chalk drawings that they have animated to be able to defend themselves against things called wild chalklings. I won't get too much into it, so I don't spoil it for you guys. The main character in this book is a boy named Joel. He is also a student at our Medius Academy. Joel knows more about rhythmatics, the study of rhythmatists and what they go through, than anybody else in the entire school. The catch is, he's not actually a rhythmatist. He's just a poor son of a worker who got into... Uh, our Medius Academy because his parents are on staff. But even though he's just a poor person and not actually one of the chosen people, he still just has a love of the study and, like I said, knows more than basically any other student in the entire school about the field of... about rhythmatics. Strange events begin happening at the school and Joel soon finds himself thrown into a mystery with his two good friends, Professor Finch and the eccentric Melody. And together they have to figure out what is going on and how they can play a part in stopping whatever it is that's happening at Armedius. It is a really intriguing book. It's one of the most interesting young adult uh, books I've read in a long time. And I honestly have nothing negative to say about it at all, which is very rare for me. I, I tend to be a little bit hypercritical of young adult but honestly, this one, I, I can't find anything to criticize about it. I do have one thing, though, that I think would have made the book even better. It's not a criticism of it as much as I think this idea would have really helped the book. And that is, I, I wish they would have left the steampunk and the gearpunk aspect out, or just left it out of the book entirely. Now, it's not that the steampunk slash gearpunk take away from the book in any way. It's just that it doesn't really add anything to the book. It's not... The story could have continued just as well if it was just an alternate history instead of these other parts thrown in. So once again, to sum up, it was very well written, a very unique and original storyline. The characters are very well written, the plot moves along nicely, and as a bonus, there is a sequel coming out, so I have something now to look forward to. Once again, that was The Rhythmatist by Brandon Sanderson. If you haven't read it, find it, local library, some your favorite bookstore, you gotta read this. It is one of my high recommendations. If you guys like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe, and always remember Reading is a special key to take you where you want to be. Thanks, and God bless. Bye.